What up, WeHo? We are downtown at the Ace Hotel for the outfit screening of, behind the curtain, Todrick Hall. You probably know Todrick from Broadway's Kinky Boots or American Idol, or from the hilarious PSAs he makes for us, the city of West Hollywood. So let's pull back the curtain and see what makes this diva Dorothy tick. So what are you so excited to see about uh, Todrick's documentary tonight? Well, I've been a big, big, big supporter of Todrick for a long time. I've been in his videos before. Green was my segment of his amazing Oz masterpiece. And I'm excited to get to know him even better tonight. I'm just so excited to see what it is because Todrick is so talented and there's so many parts and things in his life and what he does. I feel like this is like a present. I don't know what, what I'm unwrapping, but I know I'm gonna love it. Hello, this is Glosa. Is you okay? Is you good? Because I want to know. I am so excited about this document. Anything to do with Todrick because I'm not only his friend, but I'm a fan. So I'm here with Todrick Hall, the man Hi. of the hour. What inspired you to document your tour. I just have to keep saying that it was not my idea at all to document this. Awesomeness came to me and they had this crazy idea and I said sure I wouldn't mind you doing that and at that moment I didn't know what it was. It's not just the journey of the tour, it's the journey of writing the album, uh, discussing a lot of serious issues that were happening in my life at that time, bringing the visual album to life and then now going on tour. So I'm so grateful that they did it and I'm happy that everybody can watch the journey. So we're here with the director of the documentary, Catherine Fairfax Wright. Now, this is kind of a departure from your last documentary, where you followed the first openly gay man in Uganda. So what is it about gay men that resonates with you? What is it about their stories? Both are stories of people who have, um, you know, a certain amount of hurdles put out before them by society and have managed to organize themselves in a fashion that that just allows them to catapult beyond it. You know, even though some terrible things happened in my last film, Call Me Kuchu, a lot of the other people have come out, you know, really a lot stronger and have organized the LGBT movement um, to great and to a great extent in Uganda and the rest of Africa. And, um, you know, in similar ways, Todrick has done the same thing. It's, it may look a lot, it's wrapped in a different package because it's Hollywood and all that, but in many ways, it's just about getting the people you grew up around to accept you for who you are. What is the best advice you could give up and coming aspiring comedians of color? Don't stop. And I know it is so cliche, but maybe this is the time you need to hear it because you always need to hear it. And so maybe someone is like feeling like, I'm not, I can't do it. You keep going, you keep doing it because I still need to hear it. My advice to anybody who wants to be a non-traditional content creator is you have to work really hard. There are those flukes like the Cash Me Outside girl who gets a lot of followers really quickly without doing much. But she is an anomaly. Most people have to work really hard at it and it's work, it's a business. Always post and talk like you'd be talking to your best friend or the person you're close with. Like that that funny, quirky, weird, hilarious side that you like may not let out when you're like trying to be like, you know, in the world all cool and everything. Like people love that weird, quirky, fun, goofy side more than anything. So let that shine and then watch people flock to you. Now for all your little toddlers there, specifically the little toddlers of color that want to be artists, what is the best advice you can give them? Anything is possible if you really believe in yourself. And I think that I'm living proof of that, but also, I took so much away from it. I was always afraid to go out and really chase my dreams, even though that's the thing I preach so consistently on my YouTube channel. And now, because of this documentary, watching it back, I have inspired myself to keep surrounding myself by such great people who believe in me, people like Glozell and my YouTube family, and, um, and just continuing to make my dreams come true. Hey, girl.